Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's video I'm going to talk about how you can actually split a gallery's items where you can have one gallery, you can take certain things from that gallery and split it into multiple items in the second gallery. So let me actually show you what that means. So here, take an example where I have a parent gallery and the parent gallery I'm going ahead and having all this information um, and then keep in mind that how in the accessories I have keyboard, mouse and monitor, from that inf information from the parent one I can break that down into three different items in the in the child gallery or the secondary gallery. Now, the items in the secondary gallery gallery matches those accessories that I have over here. So, if you look at the the slide I have over here, in this case, the parent one has actually three accessories. It has a keyboard, mouse, and monitor. And now the child has actually three different rows. And if you look at each of those rows in the child, you will notice that almost every column is the same except for the accessory. The only difference I've done is I've gone ahead and changed the value of the accessory from keyboard, mouse, and monitor. I've actually split it up nicely. And this really comes in handy because it will come in handy to save the data as separate values and it's going to be really useful for the future reporting pieces over there. So it's kind of a win-win situation because when it comes for the end users to select the entries over in, the, um, in the app, they only have one entry, which is the combo uh, uh, control over there. But when a time comes to save the data for future reporting uh, reporting reasons, it's already split up nicely into separate um, rows over here. So what I'll do is let me just show you the full-blown app over there. I'll show you exactly how this works uh, in the app. And then if you're interested, you can watch the rest of the video. All right, so let's look at the app. So here is what I have, the app. Um, and I'm going to start putting in some information. And again, as you know, this is a simple thing. The emphasis is not the form itself as to the entries I'm putting in. The emphasis is the magic that happens at the back end of the form, which is splitting the values in the two galleries. So here I'm going to go ahead and put in my name. I'll put in my address. Um, street and I'll put in my phone number. And then device. So in the device, I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be a desktop one. And for the desktop, the accessories I'm going to need are, yeah, I need a talking station, keyboard, mouse, monitor. And then by default, the quantity for each of them is one, because I only need one of each accessories. All right? Now watch what happens. When I click on Save, there's going to be two, ga two galleries that will come up. So you see what happened over here? It happened really fast, but let me kind of walk you through it. Uh, we've got a identifier, a primary ID, and I'll, I'll explain more of that in the, in the, um, the remaining part of the video. Uh, but just remember that this is a primary identif identif identifier or identification. And then the rest is all the same. It's all the data over here. Uh, the four items that I selected over here, they were broken down into a comma separated value or CSV. That's where you can see four of them and you can see the CSVs. But that's in the top gallery. But see what's happened. I've got a secondary gallery now over here. And the secondary gallery's primary identification or ID matches that is how I'm setting up the relationships. And I'll sh talk more about how this is made. But then the other important thing is, you see on the top one, all of it came as one row, the docking station, keyboard, and mouse. But in the secondary gallery, it's split up. It's split up into four different ones over here. Everything else is exactly the same except for this one over here. They're all split up into three different ones. So this is what I was talking about, is how I was able to achieve this. Um, if you're interested, Go ahead and select the uh, the link in the bottom over there, um, and then we can go ahead and you know you can go there, watch the rest of the video, and figure out exactly how I've done this.